All right, let's be honest for a second because most AI lip sync videos don't look good. Either the mouth movements are off, the quality isn't great, or it's pretty obvious that they are AI generated. But I'm about to show you how to make any image talk naturally, and I mean naturally. Look at these results. We've got different types of characters being created with an image, and they all have the smooth lip sync that actually looks believable. And here's the thing. This isn't some complicated process that's going to take you hours to figure out. No, I'm going to walk you through everything step by step so that you can get these quality results too. Now to do this, we first need to create our base image, and this is where the foundation of everything gets set. I'm heading over to Kling AI, and when you're in the dashboard, click on the image generation tab. Now here's where it gets interesting. Your prompt is really important. You want to be specific rather than fake to get the best results. Here's the exact prompt that I'm using and I want you to notice how detailed this is. Cheerful young man with neatly styled hair wearing a bright blue button-up shirt, smiling confidently at the camera, medium shot with visible shoulders and upper chest, standing in front of a vibrant abstract background with swirling orange, pink, cayenne and golden yellow patterns. High energy, colorful, photorealistic, cinematic lightning, thumbnail ready. You can see what I did there, right? I'm not just saying like man in a shirt, no. I'm mentioning all the details and this is what helps you get consistent high quality results. Now I'm changing the orientation to 16 to 9. This is perfect if you're making content for any widescreen format. If you leave it on the default, which is 9 to 16, then it works better for TikTok or Instagram, etc. Then I'm keeping it at four outputs because I want options to choose from. It's always good to have choices since each generation can be slightly different. And as last, I'm selecting high resolution because we want the best quality possible. Now click on generate and it says it takes about three minutes, but in my experience, it usually finishes in about a minute. And from that generation, we got these four options. You now understand why I generated multiple, since you can see how they're all slightly different. I'm going to pick this one because the facial expression is natural. The eyes are looking directly at the camera and there's no distortion. The smile's confident, but not over the top, which is going to work great for our lip sync. Since we now generated the image, we can go to the second part, which is the most important part for not messing up this process. If we do this step wrong, the lip syncing will never look good. So to do this correctly, I'm clicking on the video generation section and uploading the image I just created. Now, for the video prompt, I need to be strategic here. I want some natural movement, but not too much because that can interfere with the lip sync tracking later. Here's my prompt. Young man, direct eye contact with camera, slight warm smile, studio lightning, pretty simple, right? But it is key because if the character is turning their head, looking around or moving too much, it becomes harder for Kling to track the facial features properly. Then another thing that really makes a difference are the negative prompts. This tells Kling what to avoid. As an example, distortion, blur, a natural movement glitch. It prevents issues that could affect our lip syncing later. But as I showed you in the intro, Kling works with different character styles too. Earlier I generated a 3D cartoon character and an animated dog. The key is understanding what works best for each style. So the prompts changes per type of character a bit. For example, with cartoon characters, you want to be more specific about keeping the pose stable. My first attempt had too much head movement and the lip sync wasn't accurate then. But when I used this prompt, 3D cartoon child with big expressive eyes, looking directly at camera, slight smile, stable pose, centered face, it worked much better. But let's continue with the settings. I'm turning sound effects off because we don't need any background noise interfering with our lip sync, but I'm turning professional mode on. This gives us that higher quality result we're looking for. After that, I'm setting the length to 10 seconds. This is actually perfect for the lip sync work. It gives us enough content to work with while keeping the quality high. We can now start generating. And as you can see, the estimated time is two minutes, but sometimes it takes longer. In my experience, it's usually around nine minutes. So the video is finished and it looks great. See how natural those movements are. The eyes stay focused on the camera. There's just enough movement to look alive, but not so much that it will interfere with our lip sync tracking. The facial features are clear and stable. This is what I was explaining to you guys earlier. So we're now ready to dive into the lip syncing part. Therefore, I'm clicking the lip sync button right next to the video player. First, let me show you the text to speed method. This is actually my preferred method for most projects because it's optimized specifically for Kling's lip sync system. It's fast, simple, and gives surprisingly good results if you follow the right steps. I'm entering this text. Hey there, I wanted to show you how you can make any image talk naturally using Kling AI. Now, voice selection makes a real difference here. I'm going to test a few different options. A couple of these sound a bit too robotic for what we want, but this one sounds the most natural for a character. 
also having in mind that I want to match the voice with the personality of my character. But before you generate it, a very useful thing to know is that I'm setting the speed to 0.8 instead of the default 1.0. This slows the pace and gives much better lip sync accuracy because the AI has more time to process each mouth movement. It's one of those small adjustments that just makes a big difference in the outcome. We can also choose the emotion. I'm going with neutral because neutral tends to sync better with the wide range of facial expressions and it sounds more natural. But of course, play around with the emotions if your video needs that. The most important part here is that you match the expression with your content. If your base image has a big smile, but your audio is serious or too neutral, it can look a bit off. Once I've chosen those things, I'm clicking add speeds to generate the audio. And now I need to trim this audio to match your video length. See the slider here? I can adjust it perfectly to fit our 10 second video. This is important. If your audio is longer than your video, the sync won't work properly then. But before we start generating the video, there's a second method for the audio. This is for the people that want to use their own audio file. So to do this, instead of choosing text-to-speech, I'm clicking upload audio and selecting a file from my computer. A great tip is that you keep it about two to three words per second. This helps the lip sync get better results. Now, always trim your audio to fit your video length again. And now we can start generating. So let's click generate. Wait, I'm talking? No way, this is awesome. Hey, wanna play? I've got some tricks to show you. Hey there, I wanted to show you how you can make any image talk naturally using Kling AI. Now, if you have some problems with that last part or you like need to change the audio after you've already generated your lip sync, Kling has a redub feature that lets you replace the audio without regenerating the entire video. That could be your real time saver. So there you have it, the complete process for creating high quality AI lip sync that looks natural and professional. I'll see you in the next one.